Welcome back friends. In today's video, we are going to check out how to install the GNOME desktop in Linux Mint. Well, it is possible. I will show you how to install it. So today I have installed the Linux Mint 21.2 with encrypted ZFS file system with the default MS-DOS partitions. And now we will try to do the installation of GNOME desktop over the uh, this uh, cinnamon desktop that comes default with the Linux Mint 21.2 so you have to open your terminal so it is only possible in terminal to do it open your term uh, terminal and then search for the sudo apt search gnome so it will show you all the gnome related packages so these are all the packages of gnome that are available and you have to search for the desktop package so at the bottom if you go there will be two packages. I will just show it is there in the bottom. So there is one first uh, package that is the task dash gnome dash desktop. So it will also install gnome. Then there is task gnome flashback desktop. So it will uh, install the gnome flashback desktop. Then there are other tasks with the GNOME desktop and a particular language, for example, Hebrew, Japanese, Kannada. So if you want to install a GNOME desktop with the Kannada default language, then you have to use this. If you want to install the default Korean language on your uh, GNOME desktop, you have to use this. So we will not use any of this. What we will do is either we can use this task GNOME desktop to install the desktop. So this uh, package is uh, developed by the Debian uh, team. So it will install the GNOME desktop as per the choices and preferences of the uh, GNOME users and the uh, GNOME developers. While if you come down, there is another package GNOME uh, Ubuntu GNOME desktop. So this is the Ubuntu desktop system. So you can use this to install the GNOME desktop as per the uh, preferences, user preferences, developer preferences. Uh, of Ubuntu. So the Ubuntu users prefer this uh, kind of desktop in GNOME and the developers also prefer this. So they all work with conjunction. So the user uh, request get uh, forwarded to the developers. Developers also have some of the personal preferences, some are the team preferences and all those uh, come together and they create one common configuration for the desktop. So like that it has been developed. And there is also vanilla GNOME desktop. So this I think is the uh, configuration developed by the GNOME.org that is the GNOME developers themselves. So there are some other packages also but those are all language related. So either we can go with this that is the where it was task uh, GNOME de desktop or we can go with the Ubuntu desktop. So what we will do is just let me check once. Yes. So we can go with this uh, vanilla GNOME desktop. So that vanilla also or else we go with the Ubuntu GNOME desktop that is the transitional package but it is uh, it is a kind of meta package. So by installing this it will lead to the complete installation of the Ubuntu GNOME desktop. So let us start. So what you have to do you have to type this command sudo apt install Ubuntu dash gnome dash desktop and you have to just enter so here you can see all these packages are getting pulled so the desktop uh, uh, as you see in the ubuntu so if you pick up the ubuntu 22.04 uh, lts uh, package uh, lts iso or package and if you install it then the what uh, gnome desktop that will be realized this uh, gnome desktop that you are right now installing will be same as that is uh, realized when you install the uh, ubuntu 22.04 lts iso so now we have to just click yes so you can see here totally 206 new packages will be added one will be removed and 156 156 not upgraded so if you remember uh, we are on the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop. So Cinnamon is also using um, uh, the GNOME technology. So many of the packages are common. So only just 206 uh, are the newly installed packages. Rest all will remain same. The display manager that is the GNOME dis display manager will also the remain same. So it will not get installed. It is already there on our Linux Mint system. 
so here you can see these are the packages that are getting installed some are new packages these are additional packages there are some suggested packages also so if you want to have a, a perfect uh, enorm desktop then you can also install this so here you can see it it contains the ubuntu wallpaper so if you want those ubuntu wallpapers like the ubuntu yakt ubuntu zesty so these are the older uh, ubuntu releases by bionic was the older release cosmic so this is cosmic i think uh, cosmic desktop i don't know maybe it is ubuntu wallpapers dispo so you can also install this so what what i will do is after the installation of the gnome desktop is complete we can have the installation of the suggested packages also and only you can see the recommended packages snapd that we are not going to install and the system d dash core dump is getting uh, go going to get removed so let us go ahead with the installation it will take some few minutes after the installation is complete i will stop the video and in the next video we will check out the ubuntu desktop that we have installed on the linux mini so here it is giving option either to use the gdm3 or the light dm so we will go with the gdm3 only by the light dm maybe uh, the linux mint the newer version is using the light dm display manager for the linux mint uh, cinnamon desktop i think it should use gdm only because uh, it is based on gnome technologies and anyway we will go ahead and uh, prefer to use the gdm3 that is the gnome display manager
now we are going to install the suggested packages so for that you have to then type the command and then you have to copy paste the suggested packages so i already copied the suggested packages just a moment you have to go to the top or what we can do is we'll just remove this command not found okay control z and it will come back to the command prompt now we will copy the suggested packages copy then go to the bottom and then you have to just paste the paste the, those files now you go back I think this is also not going to work. Just a moment. <coughs> what we can do is we can copy only uh, two or three lines. Because uh, copying it completely, it is not uh, working. So we will copy this first three, four lines. paste okay then do do apt install and control v paste no it is not happening to do apt install we can go to the top where it was yes these are the packages you just copy them and paste it here okay so i think it something is there it's not working but otherwise we can do it so what we will do is we will now uh, close the video we will stop the video here and in the next video i will show you the desktop itself how the desktop looks and whether the desktop uh, will run properly on the linux mint based system so see you in the next video bye bye